Hi guys, my name is Alyssa and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do Jupiter in Aquarius. This is a special Jupiter for me because I have it. Um, I also have it in the 11th house. So I am double Jupiter in Aquarius and 11th house because that's what this video is about. It will focus on the 11th house and Aquarius, right? So sorry if I'm not looking at you. My camera is in a weird place. It's down here. It's right there. And I'm used to being able to just stare at myself and I talk to me like I'm person so if I'm staring at this I won't know what I'm doing and that's why I always play with my hair because I'm always looking at myself so Jupiter is a planet of expansion and luck if you've been watching this um, you know that I always make an analogy about like shooting an arrow into a target if it's a small target it's gonna be hard to fit if it's a large target it's a lot easier to fit so Jupiter in that sign in your natal chart it will help you find where you can be the luckiest if you shoot your arrow there you'll have more opportunity to hit more opportunity for advancement and more opportunity in general in your life and you will go far if you're looking at me and you're like man Alyssa, i want to be like you when i grow up because you're 30 you got it all together yeah i'm like i got it so all together <laughs> i don't have it all together but i do know how to utilize my jupiter this is, a, this is a great teaching moment for me. I'm gonna feel really cool. <laughs> if I can just find a place to like rest my arm. If you're gonna look at Aquarius, okay? It's quirky, it's weird. That's the least of the Aquarian thing. Aquarius has this great ability to be de detached because it needs to go help people. It's also around like networking, your social circles, but like everybody around you. Um, it's the water bearer. They take water to those who need it. Goes and builds wells. That is Aquarian nature. <laughs> You're giving something that you have to people who need it. You're trying to change lives. That's the Aquarius mindset in general. The only way to change a life is to understand that you won't be able to get to some. And I think that's why Aquarians are detached. You have the great ability to see that you can't save everybody and you can't cry about it either we're really good with people <laughs> talking to people you know around people on the internet because Aquarian and the 11th house are all about the internet Jupiter and Aquarius people will be fun to hang out with with my Jupiter and Aquarius my Libra Sun I was able to be a great party girl what you guys can do with it might be on some form of that if you're not actually teaching people now for a minute after high school I became a leader of high school girls. And so like I was 18 and I really wanted to be a small group leader because in my head that like I had this want, I never told anybody, but I wanted to be like a pastor. I wanted to teach, I felt like I had a gift and nobody saw that in me and I don't know why, probably because I wasn't in the right place to utilize my gift, but I did want to teach and so I loved talking to my girls and I got so much shit from my leaders because we had like leaders of the leaders for the high school girls they all told me I was young and that I wasn't talking to my girls about the curriculum and it was right I like I actually wrote up my own curriculum that was based on theirs that would relate to them more I gave them like bible verses I liked and whatever and it was so much fun I stopped that and then I kind of went to this like maybe negative part of it in general, wherever I've ever been, I've had a desire to teach people. Any Jupiter and Aquarius person, if this is your placement or in the 11th house, you have this strong desire to teach people. And the reason is it's in a prime location to be able to do that, to be able to reach. If you use the internet, if you use word of mouth, Jupiter will help you with that because it's in the right area. Someone with Jupiter in the fifth house might have a harder time with the word of mouth aspect. Jupiter in the 11th house people, you're really good with word of mouth. So you don't have to spend as much money on advertising. You are a natural advertisement. You do need to make sure that what you have is substance, that you're actually trying to teach people something that is important to you and is important to them. You can call it luck. You can say that, oh, Alyssa, you know, you're lucky because you're a nobody, right, who decided to make some hate videos on YouTube of astrology and now you have a pretty big following for astrologers. So it's because you have, you know, big tits or you're a girl or whatever you say about me. But if you look at my chart, that Jupiter and Aquarius in the 11th house makes so much sense for what I'm doing. I have an ability because I'm not up here talking about makeup. I'm not up here. I would have horrible luck talking about makeup, talking about celebrities. I want to talk about celebrities. That's what I, I would love to have a channel where I just tell you all about celebrities' lives because I could do that. 
And I think most of you guys know that I could do that, but that's not why I'm here. I have a message, I have a gift, and I have to give it to you. And that is where I find the most luck because that part of my chart is expanded. So I know I talked about myself here, but I just think that this makes sense. So when you, you don't have to get up on YouTube and talk about astrology. You could, you could easily do that. The internet, astrology, all Aquarian stuff, word of mouth stuff. The internet is perfect for word of mouth. You can do all of that. Any part of you that wants to teach anything that you can give water to those in needing it. It might not be easy to get to your Jupiter. Um, I definitely struggled a lot getting into a good position to start utilizing my Jupiter. And I didn't realize, you know, I wasn't always an astrologer. I didn't realize what I was doing at first. I don't have this great, like, repertoire with my Jupiter or something that I had to get to know, something I had to learn about myself and see where I was going. Um, but once I set sail, it started working on its own. That's how I know a lot about Jupiter and why I feel like I could do this series is because if you work in that area, you will find great luck there. And I was just talking to somebody who's um, said her husband always wanted to be a pastor and now he's a big alcoholic. I was like, Where's his Jupiter? Oh my gosh, his Jupiter happens to be an Aquarius. Not everybody can be a pastor, and I think we're given way more opportunities now to even branch out. And as far as I'm concerned, and I think everybody's concerned, I wouldn't want my life spent teaching at a church, which I would have a fear is going to die in the next 50 years. That's not where I wanna be. I wanna be on something that is going to get bigger because I think my Jupiter respects that and it needs that. And so maybe in a hundred years ago, I would have been able to utilize Jupiter and Aquarius in the pastor realm, but not now. Because Jupiter won't let you get into a place where you're going to be blocked. You're feeling like, I wanna teach, I wanna do all these things and I'm being blocked. And it's like, maybe there's a block because that's not exactly what you're supposed to do. But keep working with it, keep finding it, you're going to. And maybe you weren't teaching what you knew, maybe you are teaching what other people knew. You have to teach what you know. You have to teach you have whatever you know that nobody else knows what you can give that's where you will find your luck and they say jupiter in the 11th is the best place for jupiter because of its ability to carry on word of mouth and of all my charts that's my favorite part and so i'd like everybody who's watching this video to be like yes this is a great spot for me to have my jupiter the 11th house or aquarius Either way, and if you have your Jupiter in Aquarius and it's in a different house, you can watch that video of the house and see where that teaching energy is directed. So, yes, that is your Jupiter in Aquarius, and I will talk to you later. Goodbye.